An alert homeowner and a massive police effort led to the capture of a burglary suspect. Authorities say a man broke into a house in South Pasadena just after midnight. CBS 2's Greg Mills joins us live from South Pasadena. He spoke to the victim in an interview you will see only on 2. Greg. Elsa, it happened in a house right here on Monterey Street. Now, the victim, the woman we're going to talk to, she hasn't slept since it happened, and it happened around midnight last night. Every noise that I hear and every sound and just, it just scares me and closing my eyes and I see his face. This man's face, 22-year-old Micah Daryl Everett of Los Angeles. South Pasadena police say he tried to break into the house this woman who doesn't want her face shown shares with her 94-year-old grandmother. Scared, scared me to death. <laughs> she had stepped outside for a cigarette just after midnight and saw a ray of light shining into the sunroom. Because I heard glass breaking and that's when I knew something, someone was probably trying to enter the house. She ran back inside and locked herself into a room. She called her parents who then called police. Police began their search inside and outside for Everett. And as we're walking outside, the guy came out of the garage. I had no clue what was going to happen. I didn't know if he was, if he had a gun or if he was nuts. Like, I, I don't know. I was really, really scared. Police screamed, freeze, but Everett ran off. Down Monterey, police chased after him, but had to stop at these tracks to wait for a train to clear. That gave Everett time to hide. About 30 officers from five agencies searched on the ground and two helicopters joined in. It took about an hour and a half, but they got Everett and the burglary tools, stolen property and narcotics paraphernalia they say he had on him when they made the arrest. I feel a lot safer. I feel a lot better knowing that, you know, I can hopefully sleep tonight. <laughs> And, sh and she does need to get some sleep. As for her 94-year-old grandmother, she slept through the entire ordeal. And at last check, well, she hadn't heard about what happened last night. Reporting live from South Pasadena, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. What a story.